There we go. So, kayak trip six. With only two people. Exactly. It's not because we're just terrible company. Well, we <laughs> could be this. Could be they're not telling us something. Because we're the diehards. Yeah. So just us two, Aris Aig, and uh, a new kayak. So there you go. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's get this uh, show on the sea. Look, look at this. It's the Wild Atlantic. Come on, Bruce, you can do it. What? You must be able to do it. Nearly. I was out another inch. I know. I got stranded. So, I think we might have a another contender for Paradise Island. <laughs> Oh, there's a pallet over there. Exactly. This is our first evening. We're not far out of Arasig at all, but we've had a lovely explore around all of these um, little rocks and islands and stuff. And just as the sun's setting, more and more of the, uh, the islands are starting to appear above the waterline. It's just perfect. What's for dinner tonight, Bruce? Tonight we have um, uh, fettuccine with um, What's that special type of flour? And it's spelt flour with an ariabata sauce, uh, fresh chorcio, and Orkney cheddar on top. Not forgetting we've got smoked salmon for starters, cheese biscuits and custard. So not and possibly wild black currants. Wild black currants, whiskey and beer. That's it. Anyone else want to come to dinner? <laughs> Can't take it, Tony. I've had too much of you. I'm, I'm going to my own island. Come back. Is it the correct hour of the day, sir? <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> it certainly is. Right, let's just go for it then. Slender <laughs> We killed it, we smoked it, we packaged it in plastic, and now we eat it. Enjoy it. Talking to us, because this is... Because this is... Because this is just... This is mental. <laughs> Look, it's look. so good you could come, isn't it? <laughs> Alex, it was so nice of you to join us this evening. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if at any point uh, Tony's banter gets boring, I might have to call on your assistance. Yeah. Give <laughs> me through the long evenings. Oh, this is just, this is mental. <laughs> Completely and utterly mental that you're with us. Look. <laughs> Oh, that is great.
Tony, on a yes. scale of uh, 1 to 10, how, how would you rate the trip so far? <laughs> Is there an 11 on the scale? I think we, we could do a I think spinal we can manage tap an 11. Turn it up to 11. Yeah, look As at As you it. can see, not at all a bad place. We are on a little island. Um, yeah. RSA is just over there. And now we're going to head off and explore through all these little rocks around that headland and keep going uh, past Glenuig, possibly for a pint. Definitely for a pint. Definitely for a pint. And in theory to Paradise Island last visited in 2014 to see if our time cache is still there. Ooh. Day two. And what a beautiful day to wake up to. Welcome to the Caribbean! This will be our biggest day ever. Yeah. Well, just about to cut you off. Bruce, I'm not sure that's the way to go. We've arrived at the Caribbean. Indeed. Did you remember your budgie smugglers? What's that? Your budgie smugglers. So, this is lunch. This is lunch. On the crossing over to Renuig, yeah. over there. We just said mango. Mm -hmm. And now we're having this jerky biltong. Followed Very nice. Yeah. Followed by the hazelnut one. Hazelnut chocolate, yeah. So, a balanced diet on the water. I'm not sure if this should be in here. Kind of, uh, it damages the men of the wild, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're back. We have returned. How does it feel? Awesome. Look, actually, it's lovely to come back somewhere, isn't it? It is, actually.
used to having something to break it. Well, that's true. So, what are you planning on catching? Um, a fish. Excellent. Yeah, I like I thought, a man who's discerning. Yeah, I thought a fish would be quite would be quite useful. What exactly have you made? Camp bed. Very comfortable. That is happening. about 7 a.m. and in case any of you are thinking this is all about this trip is all about paddling around in paradise I have had this noise all night good morning what happened to the sunshine shelter, the tea is on. Just to give you an idea, the tide came up a lot further last night than it did the night, uh, yesterday evening um, because of the storm. So basically right or everywhere, all the sands covered in water. So, a little bit alarming to look at. Fortunately we tied the kayaks up as you can see around that rather large rock. Off to fetch some fresh water. Whoa! Bloody hell! That's a swell! Shit! But well, at the moment, we're just after that beast, we're about here. Yep. Just there. And what we're going to do, track along here, go between the mainland and the island. And then as we turn the corner, if the tide's high enough, we should be able to go through that section yep. there, which is showing the beach at the moment. Getting lunch. Hello, hello. <coughs> Bruce, you knocked this up quick, didn't you? I know. Well, it's, it's a portable smokehouse that I actually keep in the back of the kayak, which would explain uh, why it's so heavy. But uh, yeah, we found this little um, boffy next to a castle. And nice hot lunch. Yeah. So we've just met some people. Yeah. We've had cooking tips, fishing tips. Well, they were fishing, weren't they? They caught some fish, they caught some mackerel. And uh, it's, going to, uh, it's about to collide now, but it doesn't matter. Look at the current coming through there, look. Oh, wow. That would just spin you around. Extraordinary. Thank you. 
So this is a very, very high tide. So this is normally a tiny little stream. I don't feel we'd have any chance. You can only come up here extreme high tide and it just happened. We have timed it perfectly. And most of what's underneath us looks like it's just grass. So let's see how far we can get. Can't believe you're letting a little bit of grass get in the way. So we're heading down the North Channel for the second time ever. It's getting dusk. Our island is somewhere just on the horizon. No, there it is. There's my tent right in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. That is, that is the tent. My goodness, it's near to the water. As you see, it's finally stopped raining <laughs> after about 36 <laughs> hours or something. <laughs> Everything's pretty damp, but mm. apart from our enthusiasm. Exactly. Good morning, Bruce. What are you doing? Just warming up, actually. You look like a plank. That was the general idea. <laughs> Back on Paradise Island, three years ago, we buried, hopefully about here, a geocache, a Tupperware box full of goodies from 2014. The question is, can we find it again? And if we can, then we'll put a time recording on there, our date, today's date, and hopefully bury it again and uh, pick it up again in maybe another couple of years' time. Exactly. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's where it is. There's the blighter. There it is. I suspect nobody has been here. There she is. <laughs> Excellent. Let's have a look. It's been through some serious weather, I imagine. Yeah. Some money. Oh, yeah. there's the note. Okay. There's the note. Oh, there's a pen. Ah, cool. And there's a fly, a fishing fly. Yeah. So I can't remember doing this, but it says Glen Murray, 10 years in 2014, have a dram. I think this is basically showing us that um, perhaps plastic isn't the best thing to... Oh. Does it smell of whiskey? It does smell of whiskey, but there's only a tiny bit left. Do you think we should empty that and put some Jura back in it? Yeah, I'm not sure if we've got, have we got a better container than that? Because clearly it didn't work. No. There's a little bit of like, dodgy looking whiskey in there. And uh, yeah. that's kind of made the box damp, but never mind. No way! What? Someone's been here. No. Yes, yes. Right, are you recording? Yeah. Record now. I can't believe this. Someone has signed this piece of paper, not us. Look. David and Joyce Firth. Walkers, not kayakers. Oh, you surprise to shot something? Maybe they drank it. So someone has found this in 2015. How mad is that? That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> we never thought we honestly. <laughs> the only, the only way anyone could know that this was here was on the video, which has had a couple of hundred hits. Yes. Yeah. Vimeo, and that's it. We didn't tell anyone else. Nope. I kept meaning to put it on the geocache site. Never did. Well, they must have seen the video, otherwise no one would ever would have had to go it. there. That is awesome. How long ago? They dated it. 2015. Wow. So April 2015. So another two and a... So someone found it quite... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm made up by that. That is absolutely awesome. It's amazing. Right, well, we're going to have to add to this. Yes. 
and bury it, bury again. it again. And if you're watching this version of the video, this is where it is between the two kind of humps. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll leave another piece of paper in there. Yeah. I could have a map printed on the back of it, but we'll leave another piece of paper in yeah. there. And please, please add to it. Yeah. We call this the Paps of Paradise Island. And if you speak Gaelic, you know what that means. So if you want to try and find this geocache, this is where it is. Just on this island here. So I've just twigged that I wrote this little note uh, on the 21st of September 2014, completely by accident. It is the 21st of September uh, 2017, three years to the day. That's incredible. Without even trying to do it three years to the day. <laughs> so um, thank you, David and Joyce Firth. Yes. I'm going to, you've made our day. And so, so Alex, Get your knee sorted and get back here because we need your name on here as well. <laughs> and Tom and Ross, we're disappointed in you. Indeed. Look at this place. Yeah, look what you're missing. So, day four. Yes. Another launch in sunshine. And uh, start to make our way back to Arisa. Yeah, so goodbye, Paradise Island. You never fail to amuse us. That water and that sky is just stunning. Ahoy there! What a change from yesterday, eh? Isn't it? Completely. Wow. Yeah. So what's the forecast? The forecast? is 1% cloud cover for the whole day, which means, wow. <laughs> <laughs> just had a little scone at the highly recommended Glenwick Inn. Go and have a pint and uh, he's got an outside tap. Very useful. Stopping for lunch. Indeed. On another familiar island. So for the first time ever, we're basically just waiting on the beach for the uh, incoming tide to float us. Yes. At the moment, the, the water gushes between the two tides and we get soaked. Wow. Okay, so give it a few seconds and we off. Yes. Well, if this is like 14 miles an hour, I don't think I want to be out in 28. A few running repairs here. We have a dodgy skip. There's a little fish in there as well. A cup of tea and a massive block of Scottish tablet shared between two and aiming for the beach in the sunshine 
straight ahead. And grab. Are we going to go on the island or are we going to go on the beach? The island looks interesting. Should we go and see if you can land? Yeah, okay then. One, two, three, lift. You okay? Did you <laughs> I did. Shall I put it down? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. We've concluded that we pretty much have to go for it. Yeah. We have no Fairly choice. Fairly sharpish. Straight up there, kind of through these islands here, and, nip, and when we get round the corner into the bay at Arasay, we should be protected from this wind. That's the plan. The important thing about exercising is to find the motivating view to do it in. But this isn't bad. So I think this this is the remains of the fort. Side normally, wouldn't it? Exactly. So it's quite sheltered here. Okay, that's the first kite ready for launching. Slightly challenging route. We've had to come through here, so yeah. That's what you get for the tide going out, but I don't think we could do it with the tide in, no, so. Definitely not. Okay. Do I just loop? So should it pivot, yeah? yeah? Day five, after a very interesting launch. We're hoping that when we get out of this southwesterly, southeasterly, around the corner towards Arasay, the swell will go. <sighs> Do you think if, if there's a way through just left here, we might get out of this completely? And that might be job done. Right, I'm coming through. Feeling very glad to still be alive. <laughs> Grown up as kayak, as it may well have done. That was um, some tough biscuits. It was. This is our morning omelet stop. It's the last day. You've got to use this stuff up. It's a split level kitchen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doesn't that look the part? Cheese omelet. Look at that. Just when we thought we was on our own, look. It's a bit like buses. There comes a time in a kayaker's life when he resorts to other means of propulsion. Where's the wind? <laughs> Hey. Has it got windscreen wipers? <laughs> look, look how fast we're going along. <laughs> Bloody <Look>. hell. <laughs> <laughs> Pe people are gonna, people aren't gonna be very impressed with our distances <laughs> if they think we had it. Look at the speed we're going. Bloody hell. <laughs> right, okay, so so we're look, we, the wind is going slightly left of us. <laughs> Mental. Look! Right, watch this. We go left again. Here it goes. The rudder's doing the job. Yeah. So we have our final lunch of the trip. 
And we're going for a very uh, natural cooking solution. Yeah, indeed. Oh, This is meant to be the final glorious paddle into Arasi. We've waited for the tide to turn, but it's made absolutely bug all difference because the wave must be, so the wind must be 30 miles an hour straight down this lock. And it is, oh, I don't know. Every paddle stroke is like pushing it through tree or something. So much resistance. Wow. Nobody told me that the way to Arisay goes uphill. Breathe the sun.